All right, so we're looking at values now for the um, base, the side, and the height of the parallelogram. And we're looking at the areas that we counted to try and develop some kind of a connection between the values. At this point, you should have completed a table that should look something like this. Uh, parallelogram 1 has a base of 12 units, height, excuse me, a side of 5 units, a height of 3 units, and an area of 36 square units. Uh, number 3 was a base of 7, a side of 5, a height of 4, and an area of 28. And then number 6 was a base of 8 units, a side of 10 units, a height of 8 units, and an area of 64 square units. So based on these values, what we're going to do, or what your job is now, is to take a close look at the values. And you want to come up with a formula we can use to find the area of the parallelogram, any parallelogram anywhere in the world. So you want to look over the table and try and find a connection between the dimensions and the area of the parallelogram. Uh, take a moment to try and express the connection as a formula for the area of a parallelogram. A couple things I'll say. You may not use all the dimensions in your formula for the area of a parallelogram. You may only use some of them. Uh, and again, you need to think critically about what the connection between these different dimensions and the area would be. Uh, that's, that's the task in front of you. Uh, you're going to submit your area formula in the question blank and then uh, move on to the next phase.